Hi! In this little video, I'm going to show you how to do a basic lip sync exercise following a complete workflow using two free software projects, Papagayo and Tupi. Papagayo is developed by a company called Lost Marble, and Tupi is developed by my startup called My Floresta. I am assuming you already downloaded and installed both tools. Anyway, using Google you can find them easily. Now, to start my example, previously I prepared the files that I'm going to need. Number 1. A sound file. In my case, a WAP file with the sentence I want to create a lip sync. My sentence is pretty simple. Maybe next time, huh? Unfortunately, I couldn't capture the built-in speaker's output of my computer, so you won't be able to hear the file when I play it, so you will have to imagine it. Sorry. Number 2. I will need a set of files with the mouth shapes of the phonemes for all the possible representations of a mouth when the character I am animating is speaking. By default, Papagayo has a group of different mouths that you can use, just as a guide of the shapes you will need for your own mouth design. It is important that you pay attention to the file names, because they matter for Papagayo. So, when you create your own mouths, remember to use exactly the same file names as in this example. What I'm doing here is to use one of the Papagayo predefined mouth sets just to make easier my explanation. Below, in the description of this video, you will find a link with a zip file with the four sets of mouths of Papagayo, so you can use them as reference to create your own mouth shapes. Note: Any kind of image format is supported by 2P, so you can create your mouth sets as PNG, JPG or even SPG files if you want to. Ok, that's it. Now let's to play with Papagayo a little to create our lip sim example. The first thing I'm going to do here is to load my sound file, in this case the WAP file I already mentioned previously. Once I load it, you will see that Papagayo creates a visual representation of the voice you are working with. This representation will be useful to adjust the timing of the words in the sentence further. The second step is to fill the spoken test field with the words that form the sentence in the sound file. In my case, the words maybe next time, huh? So give me a second to type them. Maybe next time, huh? Now, if I click on the play button in the toolbar, look what happens. The preview player in the right side of the interface allows me to watch how the lip sync for my sentence is going to look like. As I told you before, you will be able to adjust the words or even the whole sentence in the timeline if you consider that there are timing issues when you play the lip sync. In my case, the timing is perfect. Ok, now I have to save my Papagayo project from the file menu using the option save. So, I'm going to use the extension PGO, which is the default Papagayo extension for Leipzig projects, and I'm going to do it in the same folder previously I prepared for this example. I will call the file next time. So, save it. Now, I have the three elements that I need to import my Papagayo exercise into 2P. One, my Leipzig file, I mean the PGO file. 2. My sound file, I mean the WAP file, and 3. My set of mouth shapes. So, let's open to P and then let's create a new project. Now, I have to go to the miscellaneous tools button and click on the option Papagayo lips in files. In the right side of the interface, you will see the Papagayo panel to show up, so click on the plus button to import our example. You will see a small dialog to appear, asking for all files, the PGO file, the set of mouth image and the web sound file, so let's import them. 
In the first field, I just need to pick the PGO file. In the second field, I need to pick a directory where the mouth images are stored. In the third field, I just need to pick the WAP file. When we are done, we just click on the OK button. And that's it! Now our Papagayo project is part of our 2P animation project. If I want to edit the position of the mouth, I can do it by clicking on the Edit button from the Papagayo panel, like this. Can you see the green node in the canvas? I can drag it and locate it wherever I want. Just like this. Now I will add a nice image into my animation to make it a little more fun. I will import it from the library panel as part of my static background. And I will change its size to make it proportional to my lips and mouth. Well, that's it. Obviously, this is a very basic example, but I hope it helps you to understand how to do lip sync exercise using Papagayo and Tupi. Thank you for your attention and see you in the next video.